guys um at it again i'm in an area that um i was looking at the um bigfoot mapping project and uh there was two class a sightings supposed to, you know class a sightings reported on the bigfoot mapping project in this area probably just a few hundred yards to my left um so we're going to be researching that area today walking around see if we see anything um i'm pretty confident that i know the exact areas that the uh the people saw um whatever they saw um uh, they they one of them took a picture um i'll add it in the uh in the video so you can see what they took a picture of you know you can be the judge on what you think it is um mosquitoes are really bad uh but it happened on the uh november 10th was the first sighting and then november 13th was the second sighting uh so just a matter of a couple days with each other and both sightings were probably within just a couple hundred yards of each other so um i'm going to take today this morning and uh get out there and just to see if we find anything and look around and um, we might get lucky so I'll be uh, keeping you guys along and if I find something you'll definitely be the first ones to see it all right guys see you in a little bit solid game trail it goes that way and that way let's see here So you can see that that game trail is kind of zigzagging. I'm going that way. Yeah, that through way. there. So I just it's that's back right here. Yeah, it's a lot of breaking brush. So let's go back and hit the main trail and keep in mind maybe. Yeah. Uh, look at this real quick. Yeah, I probably just died. Just saw this tree break. It's all green, but it looks like it's old. So, probably looks. I don't know, like it rotted on one side maybe and then just collapsed, fell. So I'm not sure. All right, let's head back out. Yeah, it's pretty thick. I'm trying to not to break in the thick stuff like that because we'll definitely get ticks on us. Yeah. 
I'd rather avoid the ticks for as long as I can. That was... Just walking down the trail and got some bear poop and uh, looks like it's found a corn feeder there's definitely corn in it so evidently bears have the same issue humans does we don't digest corn very well so looked around for prints there's this muddy area here I was really kind of hoping it walked through so I can see some bear prints but the only thing is that spot there it looks like a hole but what it is, is when a deer runs and it leaps, both front paws hit the ground at the same time, and then it leaps again and the back legs land in the same hole. So it kind of, you can see at a closer look, there's hoof marks in there, but it looks more like a hole because all four legs really actually kind of landed in that same spot. But uh, I didn't see any any bear print or, or anything like that. I was kind of hoping, kind of hoping. We know we have bear out here, panther, uh, pretty much the whole gauntlet of animals in Florida is in this particular park. So nothing's out of the, the realm of coming across while we're out here. So, and you see these fence posts. Those are concrete fence posts. They were put in back in the 1930s with the Conservation Corps when they first set up um, this place as a state park. And the fence is there. It doesn't mean you can't go in there. That's all part of the state park, but um, they just left them up because of the history behind them and the, the manpower and stuff that took to, to put these in here. And there's just millions of them. This, this uh, fence line goes all over the place. So they keep that as a more of a memorial to those guys. Um, the park does have a CCC museum also. So, um, but like all these fire breaks, all these trenches and stuff, um, they were doing that stuff back in the 1930s. Let's see this game trail. Walk through here. A little bit of hog activity. I'm trying to see if I find any prints in it you can see how the vines have just grown all over the trees kind of gives it that eerie look Look at that. All those lines. It's pretty cool. So we are in the area that um, that class A sighting around Thanksgiving happened. Like you said, there was one on the 10th, one on the 13th. So we're just kind of walking around back here to see if we find anything. Um, so far, it's just been a nice, nice hike. Just uh, not really seeing a whole lot. A lot of hog activity, bear scat, uh, a lot of deer, tons and tons of deer. But uh, haven't heard anything or anything like that. No wood knocks or anything as it as this time and or anything it's been fairly quiet so. but like on this side there could be something standing right there 20 30 feet in and you would never know it all they have to do is duck down you know that I don't know what kind of bush that is but it it goes straight up and then on this side you have pine forests and, and stuff like that where I'm kind of hoping that uh, I'll hear something 
you know, I think there's more likely of a tree break or snapping of a twig or something to draw my attention than on this side right here. Because you can walk through that probably fairly quietly. But like I said, all you gotta do is just kneel down a little bit and you wouldn't be seen at all. So, so we're, this will be the area that I will be camping at on Christmas weekend. I'll be out here that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I've already booked my site and everything. So I'll be uh, able to come out here. I'm going to do some night stuff with the thermal and see if I see anything. But it's one of those things play by ear. If I hear something, it'll draw my attention and I'll head that direction and see what I find. But right now it's it's fairly quiet. But, all right, if I see anything, I'll come back to you guys. I just had Dan do a wood knock. So we're kind of listening out. That was Dan. Told him to only do one, but he's done three now. <laughs> but we haven't heard anything yet. So no response or anything. Just heard a response. It's faint, but I heard it. it may not be wood knocks. It's pretty far away, so it might be uh, gunfire. that was it only happened like three times but it seemed pretty far away I don't know if it's a response to the wood knock or it was gunfire it's it's pretty far away so one more so I'll sit and wait see if it does it again I don't I don't think it was I don't know I'm leaning more towards it wasn't a response that maybe it was gunfire from pretty far away but um, it's kind of hard to tell but it, it happened three times like off in that direction there and Dan's right there so not really sure not sure but we'll see what happens. All right, guys. Uh, you can see where we're at. Pretty far back here. Um, taking a moment, drink some water, get rested, and uh, start uh, heading back. Because there's another area I want to try. You know the. The swamp area off the county road that I've gone to in the past. So I'm going to go down there and check that out. Uh, see if there's anything new back there. That's where I, I had the tree breaks and the howl and the golf ball incident and some uh, interesting structures. There's a whole lot going on back there. So I want to go check it out. It's been, it's been a while since I've been back there. Probably a month maybe. I don't know. So I want to go back out there and look at it. So... So we're going to take a breather here real quick and uh, we'll get back with you. 
Alright, we are in a swamp area. Checking this area out while we're out here. Haven't been out here in quite some time. At least a month, at least. I don't know. It's been a while. So, push back here for a little bit, see if we find anything. And uh, we'll definitely keep you guys informed. There is some some hog activity but uh, I did see hog when I came in this morning I saw two sow with a probably a half a dozen uh, smaller pigs with it they were crossing the road as I was coming in show y'all this again I found this the last time I was out here or one of the times I was out here just crazy how mother nature grows some weird stuff look how that tree is growing that's just weird it's just very weird so mother nature does some weird stuff Drenched in bug spray. Mosquitoes are really, really bad out here. So you can see there's areas of hog tearing up the ground, but kind of hope that we get lucky one day and Okay, we'll step into one of those and leave a really good footprint. We did get rains the other day. It looks like this was all done before the rains. It looks like it's been rained on pretty good. So I would say if we find any prints or anything like that, it's all within the last two days. keep looking if I find anything I will definitely let you guys know we're pretty far back here that's the direction we came from we're back over there I'm going to push further back, see what we find, and uh, I'll get back with you. I think we're going to head in that direction right there. So, all right, talk to you in a little bit. You melt the ice behind my stone cold eyes. I turn the ashes. But only just sometimes Inhale your smoke But you still act surprised It's not my fault when we end up capsized You call me crazy now But you don't understand I'm calling out to you Can you hear a thing? Cause you lit the match Get it nice to flame I'm the TNT but you're the spark to blame And it's fire Burning holes inside my brain Feel the fire Keep the melters down again Now it's pouring through my veins But I said you're the spark to blame And it's fire Burning holes inside my brain Hello. 
we are way back here this time um just a really nice looking area i like this um got this whole fern area it's really really pretty i don't know if you can tell on camera but if you were to see it in person it's really really nice dan's looking at a possible arch you can see him way back there he's he wants to look at that um I'm just kind of walking around. I finally got in an area where there's not a whole lot of hog activity. There's a little bit, but not a whole lot. Trying to check this out and stuff. It's been a great day. Uh, temperatures have been definitely warm. Mosquitoes are out in force, but I drenched, drenched myself in uh, probably something that will give me cancer later. But uh, they tend to, they're leaving me alone for the most part. But uh, it's just nice to get out here. Another beautiful weekend. Um, the area that we were at earlier today, um, Christmas weekend, I'll be camping out there for for three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then uh, do some night stuff out there with the thermals and check things out. But... Uh, I definitely wanted to check it out today because of those those recent um, Class A sightings in that area. So I wanted to check it out, see if I found anything. I found the exact trail that they uh, they stated they were on, and um, so I look forward to going down that trail that weekend when I'm camping out here and spending more time out there. I saw something moving back there, but and like I said, we'll spend some time out there looking around and do some night nice stuff. Or something, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. When you're out here in the middle of the swamps, so your senses are on full alert, so you're constantly trying to hear or see or smell. around a little bit more and see what we find um, if not we'll be uh, calling it a day and heading home but like you said you got to be out here looking to find them can't can't I can't do it when I'm sitting around the house so I gotta force myself to get up every weekend and come out here um, I play the odds game. The more I'm out here, the better my chances. The better my chances. Just heard something. Could have been anything. But it was in that direction. Could have been something falling out of a tree, I don't know. But. All right, guys, well, yeah, I think something fell out of a tree, but I wanted to give it a moment just to see if it did it again or if there was more to it. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I heard it. yeah, it was loud, whatever it was. It, But like you said, if you don't see it fall, you don't know what it is, so. But <clears throat> just 
just heard a grunt, like a low. Don't know what it was. Could have been a hog. It just happened once. All right, well, moving on. <clears throat> I will uh, get back with you guys in a little bit and uh, see where we're at. All right, we're heading back towards a county road. Haven't found a whole lot yet, I never know. Thought we heard a few things, um, but it could have been anything. You know, we heard a loud pop, but it could have been something falling out of a tree or well, those of you who have never seen the Florida swamp, this is it. Minus the water, we're getting into the dry season. That's a big tree. Look at that. That tree broke. It landed right up there. That is a big tree. Yeah, it could have been pushed down by the, the last hurricane. I doubt it. You know, probably pushed that one down with it. Something just fell. At least we were right here when that fell. Hmm. Sounded like an acorn or something. I don't know what that second sound was though. I hope I caught that on audio. That was... I don't know what that was. I see a squirrel over there. He's not barking, so he hasn't seen us. But I don't know what that noise was. It was like a pop, 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 like that. Yeah. I don't know what that was. This, uh, this squirrel should bark when he sees us, notifying everybody that we're here. Bust my butt. I didn't see those cypress knees. Whoo, mosquitoes just got bad. Here's a holler. Pigs like that stuff. No waddling that to coat their bodies with mud so that uh, the mosquitoes don't eat them up. It doesn't look like it's been used in a while. There's a raccoon print in there. See it? Like a little hand print. See right there in the middle, little handprint. I want to assume that is a possum.
trip and fall. It's so thick in here, I can't feel what's underneath my feet. get back with you guys a little bit all right guys see Dan behind me there sorry truck passing we made it out of the swamp alive we are heading back to the vehicles now um, not a whole lot today um, but like I said the idea was to come out and check out some areas that some people had some class A sightings recently and you know, hopefully better our odds in seeing this thing and getting some uh, footage or some uh, evidence and stuff like that. But uh, all in all, it was a great day. We're doing what we love to do. We're in the woods. We're hiking. We're getting exercise. And we're having a good time. So um, that's what squatching is all about. Sometimes you get something. Sometimes you don't. But uh, we keep doing it. And... I'll be back out here next week. What are you going to do next week, Dan? Uh, squatching. Okay, see, he's got squatching, plans to squatch again, too. Shoot arrows. And then, uh, like I said, in uh, Christmas weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're camping. I'm going to be out here and uh, do some night stuff for you guys and see what we can find. You know, I'm big on uh, thermals probably going to be the way to uh, find this thing. So it's kind of hard to how to heat signature so all right well we're in the main side of the area so there's gonna be a little bit more uh, vehicle traffic so I'm gonna let you guys go again I want to thank our subscribers we're getting close to 500 that is awesome um, we've only been doing this for I don't know 11 months 10 11 months and uh, I'm just stoked that we're at where we're at you know that's awesome and it's all because of you guys. So we do. I do this for you guys just as much as I do it for me. So you guys can come along with me and go through these adventures out in the woods and the swamps. So um, you're greatly appreciated. So I'm going to let you guys go. God bless. And uh, we'll be talking to you soon.